Hi y'all, thank you so much for joining us today to Eat Color with Claudia. Today we are making pork chops in a cast iron skillet because they come out perfect every time. And when I mean perfect, I mean that your pork chops are going to be moist, juicy, and tasty. This recipe is healthy, light, requires few ingredients, and above all, it's easy. So we start with a boneless, butterfly pork loin chop. And I get them already butterfly in the grocery store, but if you can't, it's okay. Just get a nice, thick pork loin chop like this and just cut it yourself. The pork loin comes with some fat on the long, on the long ends, and so just take a knife and just kind of cut that fat because this will keep it from curling while it, it cooks. Set your pork chops down on a plate and we're gonna liberally add salt and then pepper. Now, if you've ever wondered why pork chops taste so good in a restaurant, it's because they use a lot of salt. Now let's let our pork chops rest for five minutes while we make the herb paste. But first, let's talk about fennel. It's an Italian cuisine, and in Italian it's called finocchio. This vegetable, you leave no waste. You can eat this entire vegetable at raw or cooked. And in this dish, we're cooking it. In this recipe, we're gonna use fennel leaves. So I'm just picking them off here. We also need fresh rosemary. Try and mince your rosemary up as small as possible. So to get the herb paste together, and we've got our heaping tablespoon of rosemary, heaping tablespoon of fennel, and now we need a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of fennel seed and just a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. So now we add enough olive oil to just go ahead and moisten this so that when we stir this, it's gonna turn into a paste and the olive oil will actually bind all these ingredients together. So now we take the paste and we're gonna be putting some on the inside of the pork chops and just use your fingers and spread it around and then turn them over and do the other sides. And also be sure that you get the sides too. We've got this all nice and covered, and now we're going to let our pork chops rest. They're probably gonna be resting 20, 25 minutes because the more we're resting them and they're getting room temperature, and the more room temperature our pork chops are gonna be, the more moist they're going to be. And we need the time because we gotta chop up our vegetables. When slicing a fennel, first thing we wanna do is go ahead and get the little stem off. So you could just discard this. And then just take nice thin slices, just like this. This is the bulb. And we just keep on slicing this all the way up these little stems. We're gonna eat all of this. And now thinly slice a half of a red onion. And parsley, just a cute little bunch of parsley. Let's get our vegetables sauteing. Now it's important with a cast iron skillet that it gets hot first before we put up olive oil on there. And I've already got it heated, and so let's get some olive oil. Slide in our fennel, and our red onions, and let's saute them. Okay, now let's add a little bit of parsley. Now we need to add some salt because the salt is actually gonna bring up the natural juices of all these vegetables. Now we're gonna let this saute in here about 10 minutes until the vegetables are nice and soft and tender. These smell delish. Okay, they are soft, they're caramelized, and now we're gonna take them off the stove, put them in a bowl where I'm gonna gonna set them aside. Now it's time to add the chops. So we add just a little bit more olive oil in here. Take our chops, fold these guys like a sandwich, okay? And put them on in. 
like that. You can hear the nice sizzle and that's what we want. We're going to have to sear for five minutes on each side. It's really important that they caramelize because this is all part of that process of getting the pork so juicy and tender. Preheat your oven to 200. It's been five minutes. So let's flip them. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Okay, they're going to sit here for five more minutes. So now I'm going to take my tongs and flip them on their backs here where we're going to sear them for maybe like 30 seconds on their backs just to get them a little bit caramelized all the way around and for that fat to render because the more fat we can get to render, the more tasty these chops are going to be. So I'm going to lay these back down and I'm going to put them in the oven just like this for five minutes. These look beautiful. So now we're going to act a little quickly. I'm going to take these out of the pan and I'm going to go ahead and separate this butterfly here. I'm going to cut it right down the middle and now I'm going to place the inside side of the butterfly down on the pan. Now we need some wine, some nice dry wine, about a half a cup. Pour it on top, add your vegetables, and I had covered them so that they would stay nice and warm. Now with a piece of foil, cover them, the pan just like this. And now we're just going to rest. We're going to wait five minutes and just let this do its thing. While this is resting, we're going to get ready for the finale. So we have some fresh dough weed and we're just going to mince this up. It's looking so beautiful. Now we're going to take a half of a lemon and we're going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon on top. Sprinkle the fresh dill. We are ready to serve these most amazing, tasty pork chops. When you serve, you want to make sure that you get the, all these juices just like this and spoon it over everybody's piece. Oh, look at this. Mmm, delicious. So juicy, so moist, so tender. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Y'all need to make this. Subscribe to my channel. This is so good. Bon appetit. See you next week.